instructions. Andy, let's get the main card started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. Be sure to join us for the official cage Titan 65 after party taking place at Tavern on the Wharf immediately following the event. This fight is sponsored by JYM Supplements, and this is a professional lightweight fight scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, with a professional mixed martial arts record of one victory and no defeats. He stands six feet tall, and he weighed in at 155 pounds. From Assonet, Massachusetts, he's representing Lakeville MMA. Let's hear it for Miguel Mother Effin Severson. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of 0-1. He stands six feet, one inch tall, and he weighed in at 155 pounds. From Las Vegas, Nevada, he's representing Syndicate MMA. Let's hear it for Daniel Keepers. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this fight is Dale Hart. All right, that introduction was fire. I gotta and tell you, always. M Miguel is as intense as it gets when it comes to the announcements. In there. Keepers, the keepers is in there. match that blinked. intensity, dude. He hasn't blinked in two straight minutes. Right in the gate, <laughs> touch glove, right and they start firing. I love it. Oh, oh head kick oh. comes up for keepers right away. Landed flush. You heard the bone impact. You can see Keepers is definitely more filled out at 55 here. He's definitely a little bigger. He's definitely got the size. Clock sponsored by Wicked Muay Thai, the best New England-based sporting apparel for combat sports. Oh, straight punches for Keepers are coming in really, really well here. He's doing really good. Oh, I got the cut there. He's got it. Miguel's getting right back to his feet. Good job getting back up. Oh, oh another right good. hand from Keeper. Miguel's, Miguel's busted up right Miguel's now. Miguel's in trouble. The head kicks up. Miguel's staying calm though. Ooh. And now he's moving forward. Yeah, Keepers forward, did a good like job said, setting that pace, but like we said, if Miguel's got to go forward. If, like we said, if Miguel goes forward, that's definitely where he's at his best. When he's forward. Well, clash of heads there, it might yeah. have been. They're going, they're both, they're both swinging. It's only a, it's a Matty. Yeah, we gotta watch the heads there, ref. And Miguel slowing it down, trying to clinch up here. Keepers with the knee, looking good, for that tie clinch. Good adjustment by Miguel. Yes. Yeah, good head control down, on yeah. the cage. Yeah. Keepers is doing a great job using his straight punches too out in the out in space to keep Miguel away from him. So this is a, this is the idea: get the bigger guy a little bit heavier in the arms, so that his punches aren't as fast and as crisp. It's a good it's a good way to slow things down. Get your breath because his, his nose is a little busted up now. Keepers doing a good job with the overhook there. Ooh, keeps on to the wrist. Good at action on the break for both men. That left kick working real well. Now that one caught elbow. Miguel answers. The boys got to watch out for these heads, though. Uh, they're both ducking they're both, in at they're the same both time. Doing it. Miguel trying to come forward here. Nice body, body shot, Miguel. Shot got, yeah. Nice. A good combination coming back away from people. Miguel really focusing on that leg kick. Yep. I think he's tried to throw it as he's timing keepers that, coming in, trying keep, to catch him off balance. Keepers using that lead uppercut to lead hook combination very well, and he's circling away from the cage very well. Ooh, what good a duck on her, and good defense from Miguel. Way to get back up. That was excellent. Nice Everything about that last five seconds of this fight was, was smooth. Be was beautiful as well. Smooth. Though. Great job for both men. The, pun the punch from Miguel, the duck under, the sprawl, the stand back up, it was just all smooth. Good head position from Miguel. He's got to circle out and get this way, way to frame there. Keeper's doing a good job of nullifying any offense that, that Miguel might have. Real composed Keepers, right? Going in for the clinch here. Ooh. Oh, 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 definitely low. That was definitely low. That was for sure low. Definitely low. Yep, I saw that hit come. It was an accident. No doubt. It wasn't on purpose. Of course, incidental clinch battle. It wasn't on purpose. Yeah, Miguel, uh, he's trying to time Keepers coming in, but Keepers is just... Catching him right before the head movement yeah. kicks in with the punches. And, and Keepers is doing a good job ducking under some of uh, Miguel's strikes as they come in. And that's what that clash of the heads are coming in. So Miguel is charging forward as he ducks and comes back up. 
But Keepers is, do, is ducking under everything, even being the taller guy, which is impressive. Miguel's still in this, though. It's not It's not a, a one-sided fight. He's still very, very much in every exchange. Yeah, the Keeper's got the early lead, He's and just, Miguel's trying to navigate an avenue back to the winning ways right here and create a momentum shift for himself. But Keeper's hands are looking great. He's not being overzealous. He's staying patient and selective with the shots and not jumping yeah. at the gun, because Miguel's dangerous even when hurt. The Keeper's keeping uh, things very, very simple. Very, very, very yeah. simple. Very um, effective. One, one, twos, high kick, body kick. You know, and his, and his corner is instructing him right now to do the same thing. Same thing. Simple stuff, high and low. And you if know, you watch keepers, work. he's just touching. He's not turning yeah. over on any of the yeah. shots. Not over it's a lot of volume. And uh, he's using that length well. Miguel's doing a better job closing that distance so as the fight goes on. All right, show of respect between two people. And he's two using two that length better. well, but the uppercut he dropped him with was good. in tight, too. Yep. So he's good at changing levels and shortening those punches. His boxing keepers. is very crisp. That lead uppercut yes. is, what, is what's doing it for him. And that nice side. He's, he's got great lateral movement as well. He's really putting them together. Miguel's got to try and cut him off a little bit as he's moving. That was good. Good head movement from Miguel. There, and good nice body, body work yes. right there. Excellent job. But you need more of that. If you can't hit the taller guy's head, go for his body. Touch his legs. Miguel is just firing away, and these guys have probably clashed heads about four times. And they're still, and then not even a complaint about it. Ooh, the elbow just missed over the top. Elbow that return one did. from Keeper. Keeper's landed that elbow. That might have sliced him. And Miguel's starting to uh, he's up the volume. Little, yeah, uh, yeah. He's wearing a little bit more though. Keep, Keeper's is doing a really good job countering as Miguel comes in. Yeah. And Miguel does tend to up the volume as the fight goes on. The more of a dogfight it becomes, the more of a pace he puts on. That seemed to be a pattern in his fight style. Yeah, that's what's seeing here, place here. He's got the body lock and the back control. He's gonna try and get that leg out. He's trying to scoop that leg with his uh, with his far side leg. Oh, good, good way to score there. He's got the hip control. Keeper's doing a good job fighting hands. Miguel could score here, but he'll lose the position. And he doesn't quite have his hands clasped. Yeah. Keepers is doing a really good job with that wrist control. Yep, very good, pushing it away. And he's got a lot of, he's nullifying. Like I said, he's, he's doing everything he can to make sure that Miguel can't produce any offense in those clinches. He can only hold him and hope that, oh, that was good. Nice up Miguel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got one off him. Miguel definitely inserting himself. Oh, and Keepers right back. What a, what a fight so far, good work. That last one definitely wobbled Keepers. Yeah, Miguel definitely back in this fight. Yep. Stepping through with that stance switch as well on a one-two. Short time mm -hmm. in the round. Short time. What a round. What a round. Oh, nice elbow, elbow, elbow by there. Keepers. Final second. I like it. Round. What a good round between two guys. With two good fighters. Got ourselves a bloody one so far. Miguel showing his trademark grit and heart. And Keepers showcasing an advancement in skills and a composure like we haven't seen out of him yet. And Miguel bringing the dog out of himself right now a little bit. I'd like him to find his composure and get a little bit more technical like, like Keepers is being just touching. Like you said, Pat, earlier, Keepers is just touching touch to the target. He's not doing anything crazy. Right. Oh, there was the uppercut there. Definitely a head clash. Right there, another one. one. Right hand over the top, and it kind of wobbled Miguel a little bit, and I think this next one is the one that puts him on his butt for a second. That was, the there uppercut. was, there was the uppercut. Yeah, that and the right hand, 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 hand. Nice right hand on the ear yep. at the end of the round, but Keepers knocked Miguel down earlier in the round. I don't know if they played a clip of that. They did not. All right. They did not. But he, yeah, he got him knocked down with a short hook, a short uppercut with that lead side. Yes. The one he's going up to the to the, the hook, same side of yeah, He's just touching uppercut, and coming yeah. around the, the ear. I think Miguel did a good job getting himself back into the fight, even though that was still Keepers' round. I think he yeah. set himself apart with enough damage at the very beginning of it, especially with the knockdown. Yeah. I'm a proponent of a fighter gets knocked down. It's the yeah. counter that the canvas. That's that's a that's a that's just damaging. It's a second boxing. That's a that's a 10-8 if anything. Exactly. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. There's no standing eight counts in MMA. You yeah. have to get up. You have to, you have to but you still your legs didn't work for a split second. Yeah. That's damage. Yeah. That's damage. Johnny Cupcakes, what you see in that first round? A lot of heart between these two guys as they get ready for the second stand-up. Amazing stuff. How tough is Miguel to get knocked down in that first round and then arguably win it? at the end. Miguel, when he crashes, when he's closing his distance, he's doing a great job of that. I love to see him keep going to the body the way that he's been landing, and his elbows are just missing. Let's see it. 
I can't get over how these guys are throwing in the pocket. They're just missing some nice big bombs. Thank you for the inside Johnny Cupcakes. Right. Well done. Good double underhooks from uh, keepers here. Miguel is working. Good head position, good, good knees. knees to the body there. Another one. And no seem to be hurting him. Good, good job fishing for that underhook. Keepers fighting going the for that high crotch. Good defense here. Now he's got to be careful not to blow his arms out trying to do this. He might need to get his legs under him for that high crotch and he abandons yep. it. Good defense. Miguel is Miguel. making this a dog fight in the clinch and that's exhausting. That's People where really Miguel shines. That's where he shines. Oh, nice two from keepers there. He's going to go for the body trip, but he's got to be careful. The wizard. Nice. Just another knee. The body from Miguel again. Miguel doing great body work here. Watch out for the guillotine. He's coming for it. Oh, God, uh, he's just swimming, swimming for underhooks, jockeying for positions. Just say, please don't jump to Gilly. We haven't even gotten to Aaron Hughes yet. <laughs> Great head control from Miguel. Yep. If anything, Keep you can see how much his cage work has improved. Yep. He's doing great. Ooh. Elm, awesome. Elm, that's an elbow that Johnny was talking Another about. Another one. And I think, that, I think Keepers is bleeding now, too. Keepers is fading. Two beautiful elbows and some body work. Oh, oh. nice two there. Oh, he's clubbing there, so those are two good shots as well. Oh. Elbow, those elbows hurt. I just got sweat on me. Yeah. Referee Dale Hart yeah, is yeah, looking. Oh, what a fire fight these guys are throwing. Miguel just can't stop coming forward. Keeper's head movement on point still. Keeper's just still touching, touching the target. Still in this fight as well. Little more labor, jabs there. Both of these men wearing it. You can see it in the body language. They are tired. It's tough to keep up this pace. Nice body oh, shot. Nice comes back right hook over the top. Miguel answers. Ooh, ooh, the knee just, just missed, missed from Miguel. Oh, we're in the poncho seats. There's blood, there's sweat, there's everything falling all over the place. Nice elbow from keepers there. Oh, another one. Ooh, that one might have hurt. Ooh, right nice hurt. Answers. Right hand from Miguel backs keepers up. Who lands another right hand? Two, we're only halfway through this round. Lock them, suck them, robots, what a war. They're just breathing blood. And so composed. Oh, that body to the head combination. Oh, nice uppercut on the, on the middle. Nice. Those knees are, are doing dividends for Miguel. Every time he lands those, they oh, hurt. Oh, the head kick. I think that hit the armpit, one. that one. Rose, that left knee is real, oh, that right knee, pardon me, is really doing work for, for Miguel here in this round. And those elbows over the top. Like Johnny said, he starts landing those elbows. It's really doing good, good damage to keepers. Great pressure from Miguel this round. Yep. Whoa, nice slip there. Both men are wearing it. Who wants it more? That's what it's going to come down to, I think. These men are both here to fight. And Miguel doesn't seem like he's slowing. He's just getting better. Like you said, as time goes on, he gets more gritty. Nice knee. Beautiful knee. Another one. Another one. Oh, a knee from keepers. Miguel's cardio is just a whole nother level. It is. The keepers, he's right there in there with him. He's doing everything technically right to stay out of danger. He's definitely slowed from the first round. But his shots are effective still. Both men taking a little bit of a rest here, it seems. Miguel just Keepers with away. good wrist control. Yep. Miguel can't advance from here, although those knees are gonna keep, gonna keep hurting him. He's gotta get out of there. He's got a, a nice elbow on the inside. He's got to turn him around. Miguel doing great, great pressure here. And then there's that bite on that underhook from Keepers to reverse position here. Double underhooks with a minute left to go. He's got space for an elbow. Watch the elbow come yep. up over the top. I can see him setting up nice a nice knee, knee again from Miguel. Right in the liver. Nice knee. Both, both men trade good knees in this round. 44 seconds left in the round here. Could be really anybody's round, I think. The pressure. Great combinations oh. on the break from Keepers. Ooh, right hook. Oh, head, head kick. kick. He ducked into that and ate it. These guys are so tough. I can't believe how they're both standing after the shots they've been hitting each other with. What a war. What a night this has been. It's been unbelievable. Crazy. We're, and we're just kicking off the main card. Ten seconds in the round. Scoring to the end is, is uh, Keepers. Back and, all round. back and forth they go through 10 minutes, and it's become a war of attrition at this moment. These next five minutes are going to test the depths of each man's gas tank.
Uh, they're really, both of these men are going to have to dig deep with this one because they, they're clearly labored towards the end. And how would you be after a high-paced fight like that? Uh, uh, the third round is going to be about who wants it more. And I, I got to say, body language and, and pe pressure looks like Miguel is, is, is pushing right now. And going to the instant replay here, elbows over the top. Oh, Every right time up. he elbowed him, he heard him in this round. There's another one. Perfect, clean. Great job slowing it down here, right? Good knees from both men. Another knee from there, and then good combination work. A lot of clinch work, elbows. More of the same, good head position and knees. That knee, oh, another, and a good elbow from there. Just back and forth, so many swings. Good combination. Final instructions for the last round of this banger. Chanted for Miguel. Yeah, crowd definitely getting behind the local fighter here. Always been a fan favorite, and you can see why just at these first two ten minutes of this fight. All right, third and final round of this absolute. Instant classic already. Immediately right into it, right into the clinch. Right into some knees, too. Very passionate instruction from the, from the, oh. Don't argue, just fight. Don't argue, just fight. Oh, elbow over the top. Nice right, right hand over the top. Right Keepers are right. Up with Miguel might have staggered him. him. Both men going for kicks there. Again, the story of it is Miguel is coming forward. Keepers, Keepers is getting more aggressive. Nice elbow over the top. Dirty boxing, dirty clinching. Miguel going for that single. Yeah, he's got that high quads bite right now. What a scrap. Nice knee up the middle from Miguel. Good wrist control again from Keepers. Keepers got to get out of here. He's got to start making some moves here. Minute into the third round. Nice elbow again. Nice short elbow. elbows from Miguel. He's going to get He's going to get his hands clasped. Big takedown. Late in the fight for Miguel, but Keepers scrambling back up. He's on one leg. Miguel trying to get that hook in. Keeping that fight position. Forward. Really, the far hook is the one that matters here. Look, uh, He's got to get up and turn it. He's got to improve this position. To go with the wrist Not control. Good job keeping that weight forward. Daniel's got to turn into that, the, into Miguel here, into this position to turn him around. He can't keep his back towards him. He's got to use that kind of that stop sign motion to turn in just like that to get the other hook. There we go. Mm -hmm. well, Miguel did a great job getting under him. That was oh, a low ball shot. Yep. That was a low shot. It happens, clinch battle. Yeah, McGill. And if I'm and if I'm if I'm keepers and I'm and I'm I'm labored, I'm keeping it, taking as much time as I need here. I believe he gets up to five minutes, right? Yep, five minutes. Plenty of time to recover here. Looks like he's good to go. Daniel Keepers is incidental low blow. Just a lot of action here. Oh, one, two from Keepers is firing good. Uh, that lead hook, I mean, that lead uppercut is landing plus now. Watch the shot. That seems what uh, Miguel's trying to do is secure the round with these takedowns. Oh, big. He's got to get right back up. Daniel Keepers is going to get right back up. He's got two minutes, two and a half minutes to work. He's got to get up. You can't let Miguel get those hooks in. Miguel doing a good job staying heavy on him, keeping his pressure forward. Excellent job. Miguel's going to go towards the hook, towards the cage. The one nearest the cage is the one he wants to secure him, not the far side one. See how he gets up? Yep. Right back into the single. Keeper's able to explode out in the Lakers position there. Nice knee the as he comes up. Good work. Another elbow over the top. Those short elbows from Miguel, those short elbows. 
Oh, nice, nice elbows from keepers there as well. Those elbows hurt. He doesn't like them. Changes his level back up. Keepers has got to turn him around, though. The pressure is what's going to win this fight for Miguel. Constantly going forward and attacking. And it's really anybody's fight. I think round one, there was enough momentum shifts where arguments could be made, but I give it to Keepers with the knockdown. Round the two, knockdown enough two. momentum shifts where it could go either way. And this one seemingly is Miguel's by a little bit just based on control, but there's plenty of time to work. You see yep. the stats right there. They're pretty much even down the pipe of where they've been landing. Yep. Yeah, 77, 77. So quite literally the same amount of strikes landed. <laughs> All depends on what kind of mood the judges are in. This is a very subjective fight, round by yeah. round. You yeah. can make a case either way for them. Yeah. This is going to be tough to call. Well, Mc Miguel got knocked down in round one, but it was brief. He popped back yeah. up and then inserted himself back in the round. And Keepers has got to make something happen here. He's only got a minute and 20, though. He's got to turn him around. He has to. Because this is not, of, of the optics are never good when we're just sitting here like this. We're resting. Right? He's being active and scoring. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going we're gonna to break it up. Well, which yeah, is great good. because if, break up. if it's definitely one round a piece yeah. and they're very clear cut rounds, it's a great strategy to burn the great clock referee the second work. round. But Miguel can't be so certain he's, he's won a round yet. This referee is very good. He's, been, he's made some very good calls today. Yes. Very experienced. Ooh, nice uh, left hand over the top. Ooh! Oh, nice scissor knee. Dale Hart's keepers been doing a great job. It on. Oh, oh, that one was a good jab. The keepers keepers, keepers really is trying to pour it on now, making steal the round at the end here. Pushing out that volume. Yep. Yeah, starting to. He's trying to land. He's landing clean too. It's not. To, oh, that hurts. Oh yeah. Four for punch sure. combination. He's found his second win late here. It seems. Yeah, that kind of combination right there almost nullifies three whole minutes of control time right there when you get the head snapping back like that with no return. And he's just going for broke here. Miguel, too. Such a dog, Miguel Savison is. And Daniel Keepers, too. This has been a dog fight through and through. Final 15 seconds of this fight. The crowd's getting behind it. Both guys throwing to the very end. Ah, what a fight. Crowd is on its feet. What Nothing but respect for both what of fight. these warriors, and you have to respect them both after a war like that. Fighting with nothing but guts to the bitter end, and I have no idea how this is going to be. Neither do off. I. They're, they're going to pull some replays for you guys. I got to make sure they score I'm, this right. Just looking at the replays, I, I couldn't tell you. It's I couldn't tell you. There's so many. Like, how do you score the last round? Because the damage was done more by, I don't know, man. I don't know, that whole, uh, all of this was great. I think the third round was probably the most divisive, decisive towards one one side or the other, but the other two are complete toss-up. I feel bad for the judges, both men, what a performance. Oh, nice little switch knee there, too. That was good, that last little combination was very clean. Keepers really put his hands together the at the end. Yep. He puts, he puts it together, it's, he's very clean. But you know, Miguel, he just would not stop walking forward. Oh, could. Beautiful knee from Miguel. And looks like we're going to get that decision. And the total strikes are pretty much Dead even. We got 88 from Miguel to 87 keepers. Yeah, Miguel with the takedown. Keepers a little bit more accurate. And only 22 seconds of control on the ground. Keepers did a really good job of getting up. I, I don't. I don't envy the judges here. Let's take it to Andy for the decision. Seems like we've got it uh, red. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, wow, what a war! Keep the noise going for these two. What a way to kick off the main card. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28, giving you your winner by unanimous decision, Miguel Mother Effin Severson.